This video will show how to determine and mark the placement of a stoma. Prior to surgery that involves the creation of a stoma, the patient and nurse find an appropriate placement for the stoma. The surgeon must always approve the placement before the operation. The patient lifts her legs straight up. This makes it easier for the nurse to identify the rectus abdominis muscle. The stoma is always placed inside the muscle. The edge of the muscle is marked on the side where the stoma will be placed. The nurse marks a line from the iliac crest to the navel. The stoma should ideally lie about 2 centimeters below the middle of this line, but the placement will be individual for each patient. Possible placement is marked with a piece of tape. The patient sits up. The placement is then tested. A skin barrier is placed over the marking. In this case, it appears the placement was too low, as the barrier conflicts with the patient's trousers. The marking is adjusted until the most appropriate placement is found. The placement is tested both sitting and standing and with the stoma bag in place. When the patient is satisfied with the placement, the final marking for the stoma placement is made with a water-resistant marker and covered with self-adhesive plastic film.